Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, you can. Bye. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Sunday, the second day of spring. It's prettier than the first day of spring was, it's warmer. So we've been outside a good bit this afternoon. I was gonna do my strawberries and my peppers, but I need some soil. So maybe tomorrow I'll grab that so I can start my strawberries and all. I know that it takes strawberries and peppers a long time, but I'm thinking because these are ones that you can grow on your porch, I'll be able to grow them, hopefully. My tomato plant is already not looking as good as it did just yesterday. It's like as soon as it got here, it was like, bye. Really, tomatoes? Maybe it'll be okay. We're gonna hurry up and get it in the ground and hopefully it will continue to live. <laughs> right now, I'm about to make some smoothies. After church this morning, we just had uh, frozen pizzas and macaroni and cheese. It was kind of a find what you want for lunch. And so that's what we had for lunch. And now I'm gonna make some smoothies this evening. I think I'm gonna make some pork chops. I'm trying to decide how I wanna make them. Do I wanna bake them? Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Do I wanna bake them, fry them? Or do we wanna have like barbecue pork chops? I'm still trying to decide, but first, smoothies. I'm seeing if we have any Coco Lopez down here. Coco Lopez. Uh, I doubt it. Fishy. Ooh, Manly found a fishy. It's a swordfishy. I'm looking, yeah, that's what I'm looking for, Coco. What do we have here? Not what I'm looking for. You know, I think it's called Coco Lopez. Coco Lopez something. It's the cream of coconut stuff that comes in a can. It makes the most amazing smoothies you will ever have. Thought I had a can down there, but we must have already used it. They are. Jacob has beets growing in the garden up there. Exciting news. Here's what we're gonna use. Frozen mixed fruit. This has pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango. We're gonna use this vanilla yogurt and bananas. We don't have to put any ice. Oh, and milk. Can you get me the milk, John? We don't have to put any ice because our fruit is frozen. Is that a No, it's gonna be a smoothie. Oh, no, that's lemon water. I thought he was talking about this. He's talking about the lemon water I made earlier. First, I'm gonna put the yogurt in the blender. Okay, we have the vanilla yogurt in there. Now, the frozen fruit. I'm trying to do more mangoes than um, anything else. There's usually, in this bag of frozen fruit, y'all, there's like five pieces of mango. Let's just be for real. Great value is stingy with the mango in here. Now, we're gonna pour some milk. Yeah, Sissy, pour the milk just to the top of the fruit, okay? And I'm gonna be slicing up some banana. Probably need two bananas in there. Okay, can I press the button? Uh, yes, let me get the bananas in there real quick. Sissy's taking a taste test of a banana. Yes, there you go. That's it, now. Don't forget to put the top on. Don't forget to put the top on, that is very important. You'll be wearing the smoothie instead of drinking it. Mash the one that says smoothie. One for Jonah, one for Sissy. Manly's is gonna go inside of his little squeezy pouch here. So what I do is put the lid on, and instead of letting him squeeze it and eat it like if it was, you know, yogurt or applesauce or something, I put a straw in there. It fits perfectly down in there, and that's how he drinks his smoothie. 
There we go. He sees it. It's coming, I promise. Here it is. Is it good? Mm, yeah. Welcome to the next day everybody. It is now Monday evening and time to start cooking supper. I didn't end up making the pork chops last night so we're gonna do those tonight. I'm still at the moment trying to decide if I want to do barbecue pork chops. I think I'm gonna do barbecue. Barbecue pork chops. Here comes Manny. Huh? So yeah I'm gonna do barbecue pork chops. I thought about potato salad. I could still do potato salad real quick. It doesn't take very long. It won't take long in the instant pot. Barbecue pork chops, potato salad, and green beans or broccoli. Bull? He sees the bunny on the little fruit snack box. It's got a bunny on it and he's calling it a bull. Okay, we're gonna get the eggs and potatoes in the Instant Pot and then we'll start the pork chops. Everybody else is going outside. Titus just got home a little while ago, so he's taking the baby out. So it's just gonna be me in here. I'm gonna be all alone. I'm gonna go ahead and chop the potatoes before I put them into the Instant Pot. I'm not gonna peel them though for this potato salad. We're just gonna leave the peeling on. I don't know why I'm piercing them with a fork when I'm gonna chop them up. It's a habit. I'm used to making like uh, potatoes in here for baked potatoes. We just put a cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot. It doesn't matter how many potatoes or eggs that you're doing. You just put a cup of water. Now we'll just cut these up. So this morning, uh, Tyler had his orthodontist appointment and he just has one more appointment that he has to go to with the appliance where they'll tighten it or move it around, whatever they have to do. And then on the next appointment, he'll be getting the braces put on. So he only ended up having to wear it for three months if it goes, you know, according to that plan. I schedule his appointment for very early in the morning before school even starts. We were there at uh, 7.50 is what time we pulled in the parking lot there this morning. I schedule his appointment for 8. That way we can get it done before school even starts. We don't start school usually until between 8.30 and 9. So I like to schedule it early so we can have that out of the way and already done for the day. And of course we went to Duncan. I didn't make my coffee before we left because I was like, we're going to be out that early. We're going to go to Duncan. Okay, so we've got the cup of water in there, our potatoes, and I'm going to do six eggs. And we just seal it up here. And we're going to do, I'm going to go with eight minutes. That's it. Oh my goodness, y'all know what? We still have the baked beans left over, so we're going to have those with our barbecue pork chops and potato salad. For the pork chops, let's see. We're going to put this steak and chop seasoning on the pork chops, and I'm going to cook them on the stove top first. I'm just going to sear both sides. Then we'll put them in the oven to finish cooking the rest of the way. And when they're done, then I'll put the barbecue sauce on top, put them back in the oven just for about five to 10 minutes to warm up the barbecue sauce.
The potatoes and eggs have been done now for about seven minutes. I almost said six and it changed to seven. We're gonna go ahead and release the rest of the pressure. We'll need pepper, salt, I've gotta refill my pepper pig over here, and mayonnaise, and just a little bit of butter. I'm gonna make the potato salad in the Instant Pot pot. I'm just gonna drain, I'll take the eggs out and then drain the potatoes and get my rack out. We have a visitor, look at those dirty windows. You want in? You wanna come in? Hey, are you having fun? You going back out? Bye bye. Where you go? I'm just putting the eggs over here into an ice bath. Then we're gonna drain the potatoes. We'll get this potato salad done. And then we just have to heat up the beans and put the barbecue sauce on the pork chops when they get done. I have some frozen broccoli, I think. I might do that. I'm gonna put the butter in first. Do you like your potato salad hot or cold? I used to like it always hot, like always warmed potato salad, but now I actually like cold potato salad better. Now I'm putting in the mayonnaise. Potato salad, it's kind of like mashed potatoes. I don't really measure anything. I just kind of can go by feeling. <laughs> just feel it. Now we're just gonna put the salt and pepper, celery and onion, and sometimes I put green bell pepper. One time we made a potato salad recipe that had green bell pepper. <laughs> green bell pepper, and it was really good. I added just a little bit more mayonnaise. As soon as the eggs get cooled down enough where I can peel them, I'll just peel those and then slice them up and add them in, and that's it. 